Well, hello. You are hiking with Jenny on the Appalachian Trail. This is day 19. Just leaving Peck's Corner Shelter. Hiking 13 miles today to Cosby Knob. Today looks a little bit easier than yesterday. Like I said, I'm only doing 13 miles. And the elevation doesn't look as difficult. So hopefully it'll be an easy if wet day. And hopefully the, uh, the lightning stays away from me today. Up in the clouds today. I hate blowdowns like this because it's too high to go over, but it's too low to go under without getting your pack snagged on it or just getting down in the mud. And you can't really go around it either because it's all chewed up. All right, here goes. I had to literally get down on hands and knees, but now I'm filthy. So a lot of people have commented on my poor sound quality when it's windy and I started out with the DJI microphones but what was happening was the cord was constantly coming unplugged from the receiver and then you'd hear nothing. So I kind of decided that I would rather have some sound than none at all. And then um, it also, they, they didn't last the full day. I'd have, I would have had to like halfway through the day recharge them. And it was just, I didn't, I wasn't confident in my uh, battery capacity and didn't want to have to carry an extra battery just to have microphones with all of that added complication that I just mentioned. So, um, unfortunately, this is just what I have right now. I will try and if I notice something's hard to hear, I will put captions or uh, narration over it. I feel like I'm on the long trail again. The trail is a river. I had another trail name proposal last night. Heat. Um, that was proposed by Soap because I use an alcohol stove and that's my chosen alcohol that I use. Heat, H-E-E-T. He thinks I also bring the heat when I go uphill, but that is definitely not true. I am very slow uphill. So I don't know if I like that one. It didn't feel right to me having somebody else pick my trail name because I'm a different person to each person. So to Bachelor, I might be that girl who hiked the long trail. To Roadrunner and Lil Chap, I'm the girl with the beacon. To Soap, I'm the girl with the alcohol stove. To 2020, I'm the girl who hung her food a little too low at one time. I can't answer to just one of those. Because I'm going to be a different person to each person. And I don't know that there's any of those that I would really want to be called with a name that I would answer to or introduce myself as. I'm going to stop here for a quick lunch break. Or maybe not so quick. We'll see. I just stopped at the Tri-Corner Knob Shelter for lunch. And I got cold, <laughs> um, so I, uh, I tried not to take too long there, but I did eat something and I uh, got some more water. I got about 7.7 .7 miles to get to camp, and it looks like after this first little up, that it's going to be mostly downhill and pretty cruisy after that. So I think the trail is going to be pretty easy. And the, the rain has let up a little bit 
for now. So I'm hoping that it doesn't get too bad. If I keep moving, then I should hopefully warm up a little bit. My feet are already freezing and then you step in this stuff and it's like, ah. Current conditions. Not fun. Just had my first probably ankle related fall so far this trip. I mean, the fact that I took me this long to fall is, uh, is a good sign. And I wasn't hurt, so everything's okay. We are currently walking through an area that was the site of a plane crash in 1984 supposedly you can still see yeah you can still see um parts and debris from the plane um and i can see some there i don't know if the gopro is gonna pick it up very well so i'll uh, post a photo too but right down there you can see a bunch of pieces Nobody survived and they don't know to this day what caused the crash. Wow, first view of the day poking through the trees here. It almost seems like the sun is trying to come out. Hopefully that means that the rain is done. We made it to the turn off for the shelter. Whoa, those signs look very worn. All right. Let's do it. These are what my wet, soggy feet look like after a day of hiking through puddles and streams. And those are my socks. And shoes.